Hi everyone, it's Terry here from nutsaboutstamping.com. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. In this video, I'm going to give you a really fun card idea using the So Hoppy Together Celebration stamp set. And I'm also going to show you a really fun idea for using one of your embossing folders, a different idea than what I've normally shown you before. So, Let's get started. My card base is going to be Whisper White. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it on the four and a quarter mark. And that's gonna be my card base. And then I'm going to add a leftover piece of the Lemon Lime Twist Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. And I'm going to add that directly to my card base using my snail adhesive. Now, I love this gingham paper because you end up with two choices. You can use the side with the small gingham. I'm going to use the side with the large gingham because the stamp that I'm going to use on the front of my card is sort of a larger image, and so I want everything to sort of match the size. I'm going to set this aside for a second. And then I'm going to bring in one of the images from the So Hoppy Together stamp set. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I love this ink, especially for water coloring. I'm gonna stamp it down. And then, now I'm gonna color the frog and I'm going to use my watercolor pencils assortment too. And I'm going to use the Granny Apple Green as one of my colors. And I think it'll blend really nicely with the Lemon Lime Twist color. So I'm just using a circular motion and firm pressure to color the frog. And then I'll use my blender pen to Pull all the color together. I'll just show you that in a second. There we go. My frog is all colored and ready to die cut out. And I'm going to do that with one of my layering circles framelits and my Big Shot magnetic platform. Bottom standard cutting pad. I've got my little frog and a circle around him. Top standard cutting pad and then just run it through. I think that the layering circle framelits are the framelits I use the most when I craft. I can't cut a circle if my life depended upon it, so it's nice to have these die cuts that'll do it in just a second. Now, while I have my Big Shot handy, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to switch over to my Big Shot platform bottom standard cutting pad, and then I have my Lemon Lime Twist. I have a piece of leftover cardstock, and I have an embossing folder, and I'm going to emboss this layer of Lemon Lime Twist, and then I'm going to do something with it. I absolutely love the garden trellis um, embossed images on this strip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and I'm actually going to trim this to match my layer. So I'm going to trim it five inches by, and I think what I want to do is maybe two and a quarter or maybe two. Let's try two inches, yeah, perfect. So I'm actually going to add this as a layer onto the front of my card. All right, so let's put this layer on next, shall we? All right, now I have my stamped and die cut frog. Is right here and I want to add another little bit of interest to this guy. I'm going to take the three little flies and I'm going to ink them up and I'm going to stamp them 
and color them as well using my gorgeous, great watercolor pencil and my blender pen. So I'll do that and I'll be back in a second. All right, now I want to add a layer of ribbon to the front. So I'm just gonna measure and then I'm going to cut. my ribbon and then I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut so I've actually created two strips of ribbon and I'm just going to angle it a little bit because my scissors frayed it a bit. So let's have these two pieces come across underneath my little frog layer so let's adhere that down and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I've got some tear and tape adhesive and I'm just going to, the frog will cover it up. So I'll just add some tear and tape. There we go, that was a bit easier. like so, and then I'm going to add my frog. And then I need a phrase. So I've been thinking a little bit about the phrase that I want to use. Okay, let me show you how he's coming along. All right, now for my phrase, I'm going to use the you can do anything phrase from the stamp set. And I think what I'll do is I will ink it in Highland Heather to pull the purple colors together. And I'm gonna stamp it down on a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. And then I have my one inch circle punch and I am going to center this in my punch and then I'm going to punch it out. Then I'm going to add it to the front of my card using a Stampin' Dimensional. I love Stampin' Dimensionals. I use them all the time. And that will complete my card. And I love it. I think it's really colorful and it's really happy looking. And so this is a great sample idea using the So Hoppy Together stamp set. And I hope I've given you a new idea for your embossing folders, and that is to emboss a layer and then trim it to add a smaller layer to the front of your card to add visual interest and a little bit of texture. For a complete listing of everything I used and the measurements for all of the cardstock, please go over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. And while you're there, I'll have a link to my online store if you want to place an order and earn this stamp set for free. You can do so with a qualifying order until March 31st. After March 31st, the So Hoppy Together stamp set will be gone for good. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. I hope you create something beautiful today, too. Bye for now.